delighted to share findings of our program Engage, which is a, a survivorship program for survivors of childhood cancer. We know, and there's, it's well documented, that survivors of childhood cancer are at risk of later fitness, and these increase as they age. Um, and unfortunately, as this risk of late effects increases, their engagement in follow-up care or survivorship care decreases with time. And that creates a significant uh, gap in care for this high-risk group, particularly for childhood brain cancer survivors. In Australia, uh, survivorship care offers uh, an opportunity to educate survivors about this risk, to uh, develop personalised care plans for survivors, um, which ultimately enables early intervention or even prevention of these late effects. Um, and, and also an opportunity for lifestyle advice as well to support survivors um, to mitigate these long-term risks. Uh, the evidence also shows that uh, survivors who are engaged in long-term follow-up care demonstrate reduced emergency department visits, improve survivor knowledge, uh, for example, about their history of late effects or uh, history of cancer or risk of late effects, um, but also they're more likely to have late effects diagnosed. In Australia, there's over 20,000 uh, childhood cancer survivors, about one in five are brain cancer survivors, um, but only six, uh, sorry, only eight survivorship clinics, uh, which are limited to major cities uh, in Australia. Very few of those have dedicated funding and rely mostly on volunteers, and only one of those provides care for adult survivors of childhood cancer, so over the age of 24 years old. So the significant um, gap in care for this high-risk population, which is where the ENGAGE program comes in, and it's designed for survivors of uh, any childhood cancer. Um, and we've recently uh, launched a, a program, the ENGAGE program, specifically for childhood brain cancer survivors of any age, um, who are at least five years from treatment completion. And at the moment, we've been running this at Sydney Children's Hospital and Westmead uh, Children's Hospitals. And they must have been uh, disengaged for at least two years, so not receiving any cancer-related care. Very briefly, the program uh, involves an online health assessment that the survivor completes, and then that information is corroborated in, in a, an online telehealth consult between the survivor and the nurse. And they run through the health assessment again and discuss any barriers to care, um, as well as current uh, physical and psychosocial health needs. Um, as well as they, their history. Uh, this information is fed into a multidisciplinary team meeting, which, which is, uh, consists of a paediatric and adult oncologist, GP, social worker, um, and other specialists as needed, depending on the survivor's needs. And the information from that MDT is used to develop a personalised letter, um, which is addressed to the survivor and their GP, to promote ongoing engagement in the primary care setting. Uh, the information in that letter is then also discussed with the patient in a second online telehealth consult between the nurse and survivor. Uh, and we also have been providing a second, uh, or third rather, booster call um, sometime after that second consult. So as I mentioned, we've recently launched the Child Cancer Brain um, Program, which is ongoing and uh, has recently wrapped up recruitment. Uh, but these are the findings from our larger trial with all childhood cancer survivors, um, and that involved 78 uh, survivors in that study. And the findings were very promising. So in terms of our primary outcomes, and we were able to demonstrate that uh, survivors' health-related self-efficacy or their confidence to self-manage their care increased uh, after involvement in the program and was sustained uh, for the two-year period that we studied them for or invited them to complete surveys as well as satisfaction with care, which also increased after involvement in the program and was sustained uh, for two years post. Uh, Health-related quality of life was uh, relatively stable um, over the, the length of the program, so we didn't uh, show a significant increase in that, although it was relatively high to begin with. Uh, and the program was also able to reduce survivors' unmet information needs uh, relating to their cancer history, their risk of late effects, and so on. And that too was uh, sustained for the two-year um, period. So to sum up, ENGAGE appears to promote survivors' confidence in self-managing uh, their survivorship care and understanding their needs. Uh, it also increased satisfaction with care and decreased their unmet information needs relating to their cancer history and risk of late effects. 
However, there's still a lot of work to be done to ensure that we can support survivors like Heather, who are faced with uh, long-term health issues, uh, both physical and psychosocial, um, and in particular in, in providing uh, programs which are more accessible and sustainable in the long term, um, and in particular one step um, moving forward would be to uh, help strengthen our primary care involvement to ensure that survivors are supported outside of um, tertiary care as well. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.